What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we've got the rogue camp infestation now. And this is going to be consisting of six nests, I think it is, yeah. And uh, all of this, all these videos I'm putting up on the survival mode is kind of in aid of the uh, surviving trophy. Uh, what is that trophy called again? Let me have a quick look. Surviving is living. So that is the for finishing the entire game on survival mode. And that's going to be a gold trophy right there. So all these guides are pretty much going to be in aid for that. And I'm just going to touch on things that are more difficult. Um, I had a couple of people asking to do the infestation. So I'll do that as well. As you can see there, I'm putting down a proximity bomb. Because it's, to me, it's the only place I've found that it's the most effective. Because if you're doing it with hordes and in caves and stuff, then you know when they're running out, it's going to explode when the first one hits it. Whereas with the nests, they kind of spawn in there once you set fire to them. And they all peg pretty much instantly, <laughs> except for this one because it has multiple exits. So I cover the back exit and the proximity bomb will sort out the front. You can see there three of them got killed at that farm, which is more than enough. Now there's, the game is still so very buggy for me. Like yesterday I played pretty much as long as I could. And sure the minimap isn't there, but if you push survival vision, then the minimap pops up. Especially when you're on your motorbike. Uh, you push survival vision and you can see where you're going but today i log on and there is no mini map at all not on survival mode not on the uh menu screen anywhere you have to use the full map to actually navigate now i'm, I'm getting used to it now but uh after having it yesterday and now today it's it's not it's it's very buggy so we can head over to the next infestation um another little buggy thing that's happening is if i take out a deer or an animal or something and they're on the ground that area turns into one of those areas where you have to search for clues with the blue circle and there is definitely no clues or anything to search for there it's just like a bug where it's not just showing me where the animal is it's actually creating the area where i got to look for it now i don't know if that is meant to happen with the update so it's easier I to find it. i do not know <sighs> but um close. right now the mini map thing is slightly irritating but um going to the big map is going to be fine you just it forces you to Look at the surroundings more to know where you're going and having and not having to actually consult the map so this infestation i like to sit right over here because they all come running straight towards you along the side of the house and the um crossbow uh significantly increased damage crossbow is one of the first things i gunned for because it is obviously a recyclable ammo and uh, it'll kill any freaker or any of these uh, swarmer freakers uh, in one hit anywhere on the body like 95% of the time nine times out of ten it'll, it'll work So um, very 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 useful as well as obviously you can see the picking up of the bolt afterwards is essential for that as well But uh, doing this all stealthily is definitely going to be better And I prefer to do it during the day because not only it makes for a better video so you can see what's cutting But um, all the freakers are going to be bunched up inside waiting to come out so you can kill multiple with one bomb as you saw earlier Okay, crafting up here, getting some gear in. We're going to head over to the next one. This one has multiple exits, so I'm just going to grab this wood here quickly. Yeah, so having multiple exits is going to make it more difficult. But if you hide in the shrubbery here, sometimes they'll see you straight away no matter where you are. So this time I decided to hide just across the road over there behind the dumpster. And I think only one or two guys come out and then there's a glitched bird and a glitched right freaker here. as well stuck in the room unfortunately still very buggy and there's a bird stuck in the corner up there something out of the matrix okay so we're going to torch this we're going to tuck tail now in past uh, playthroughs i have waited like too short of a time and then you go up to it and they all come running out and then you have to use your melee weapon which means you have to use scrap to repair it so getting them with the crossbow is definitely the best option for me that I feel is the best option because like I mentioned it's it's recyclable ammo and as you can see there only one dude came out so I was quite cautious because I like you to wait a bit and then they all come running out at the same time but this was also glitched as you will see there is a freaker in the room and I couldn't shoot him I couldn't do anything eventually I just had to take the bat to him but I don't like using the melee weapon because only an emergency pretty much because it takes it uses scrap it uses scrap at least to repair itself i wonder if i saw that bolt on the ground there that i see now so i'm gonna skip forward a little bit with this because he just wouldn't fucking die 
There it is. Nope. Doesn't look like I saw that one bolt right next to me. It's funny. You see a lot more things now when I'm looking at it and not focusing in the distance. Okay, we got three more over there in the distance. Now, I didn't know. I went through this game three times pretty much and um, before playing this level, this uh, survival mode. And I didn't know that you could ride up to the petrol tanks on your bike and just hold down circle and he'll actually fill up the tank while you're sitting on the bike. And I always thought, okay, I've got to save the fuel can for filling up the bike petrol, but you don't have to do that because you can just drive up to that tank right there on my left and you can fill it up. So I try to use the, oh, there's another bug bird. I tried to use the fuel can over there to ignite this Christ nest, but nest. it didn't seem to work. Right I exploded God, it right in front of it and it didn't work. Oh, uh, so I had to go back and use a damn Molotov anyway. So I tried to do it like this, like someone would, but I'm going to skip ahead because it just didn't work. It blew up, but didn't catch fire. So we're going to use the molly once again. And in this one, I think only two guys came out, two or three. One guy's on fire straight away. I think there was one more we'll see now with the experience. Yeah, so only two guys were in that nest, which is nothing. I was expecting more. And to be honest, I wanted more. I wanted them to come chasing me. And I hope the, the buggy aspect of this is not affecting the actual survival mode, um, you know, mechanics. Because that would suck. Because the whole disappearing of the minimap over one day without any update happening last night is pretty damn weird. And also, some other things are disabled, like the survival vision. You can't see enemies through walls. You can't extend the survival vision, which makes it a lot more difficult. And, you know, that definitely makes it more immersive because you can't oh, see around the walls it? here. God damn and um, it's gotta be close. I just hope it isn't buggy because sometimes when you're doing survival vision, you can see them. Like little speckled people you can see through the walls. So it's not like completely gone, but uh, it is definitely mostly gone. And those guys are coming out of the walls themselves. Yeah, the uh, significantly damage increase in the crossbow is definitely the way forward. Because uh, a lot of the time you'll get your bolt back, as you know. Now I could hear someone very close, but I just couldn't see where they are. They're actually downstairs, or well, outside, downstairs. Now I'd like to have a look in the nest areas. I mean, there's definitely the residue, which I'll come back for when I need it. But uh, sometimes there can be a chest as well, but not in that one. I don't know what happened here. I think I made too much noise and... Uh, I got a group of them to pop out of the nest, which probably was avoidable, because then when you burn the nest, they come out again. I think it was just two or three guys. I should have thrown the Molotov sooner here, but I didn't. Just checking it is the last nest. Definitely should have thrown it sooner, but I didn't know the third one was popping out there. But he's toast anyway. Sit, 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 sit. Yep, so there was actually three, four, five coming out before I actually burn the nest. So like there, he would have hit me if I tried to hit him straight away. So you kind of got to roll away. Even this hit over here was quite risky because she's running towards me. So luckily she didn't go for a, a slap -a Okay, using the baseball axe, <laughs> baseball bat axe, baseball battle axe or something like that. Use a scrap to repair and you can increase the effectiveness of scrap as well. Uh, that's to repair your bike. So we're going to craft what we can here before we start lighting molotovs in here. And we're going to have two guys left, I think. Three guys. Two guys. And that's the infestation done right there. Storyline updated. One step closer to surviving his living. See, and I, I didn't want that to be a smoke bomb. That was the fail of the run through. But that is going to bring us to the end, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content. Smash the like button if you are. Any questions you have, just ask. I'm always going to reply. And you can expect videos like this the whole playthrough. Um, not only infestations, just random stuff on survival mode, like probably this guy on survival mode. But other than that, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. And I want to catch you on the next one.